What is going on guys? Jason Burke here, Styles Clash for Life, coming at you on YouTube today, and today I've got my continued list of my 20 favorite horror movies of all time. I'm counting backwards from 30 to 1, or 20 to 1, <laughs> for my all-time favorite horror movies this October, with number 1 being revealed on Halloween morning. So I've got this October countdown going. I already gave you guys videos for number 20 and number 19. If you have not seen those, go back and check those out. Let me know what you guys think of my first two selections on this list. Today we're going with number 18. I'm going to make these videos pretty quick. I'm doing two today. I'm doing 18 and 17. And uh, I'm pretty sick. My throat's a little sore. It's been a long week. I've had a lot of work going on and uh, a lot of social gatherings and birthday parties. So I'm a little lackadaisical and tired, but I'm, I'm going to quickly go through this and give you guys my number 18 pick for my 18th favorite horror movie of all time. Again, not best or, or, or most uh, best picture, best direction, whatever. Just my personal favorites, so don't attack me in the comments. But here's my number 18, Stephen King's Secret Window. This is my favorite modernized Stephen King film. I haven't cared for a lot of his more recent ones. I love all the 80s and 90s classics, but haven't cared much for the recent ones. But I love 2004's Secret Window. It gets a lot of flack for being too mainstream or too predictable. I thought it was excellent. Johnny Depp stars as Mort Rainey, uh, this kind of dilapidated, this guy going through a divorce. Uh, he caught his wife cheating on him, so he moves to a house out in the country to get writing done. He is a, uh, a kind of down-on-his-luck uh, writer who writes mystery novels. So he goes out to the secluded cabin uh, to get away from his, his wife, who is going through either a divorce or separation with, I forget which. But uh, he goes to a motel, catches his wife cheating, and winds up going out to the country... Uh, moving in seclusion to write this novel and you see him sort of heavily drinking and you see his character kind of devolving getting crazier as time goes on uh, and again there are spoilers in this so if you have not seen it and you want to see it pause this video and go watch because there are spoilers here but just very briefly uh, Johnny Depp does a wonderful job playing Mort Rainey this kind of zany out there half crazy uh, author and he winds up uh, encountering a man in the woods named John Shooter who he feels is stalking him because John Shooter says that Mort Rainey is stealing his novel, that this, uh, the stuff that Mort wrote is all copyright infringement from John Shooter. So he starts to uh, attack things in his house, he's hearing things, he's seeing visions of John Shooter. Uh, I believe some, some people or animals wind up dead in this. Um, so Mort is thinking that Shooter is killing people um, because Mort is stealing his stuff. Mort swears that he's writing his original material, and Shooter swears that Mort is stealing it. So um, there's a lot of psychological stuff, some good jump scares. Uh, Mord starts to further devolve and go crazy. And again, Johnny Depp does a wonderful job. Good direction from Stephen King. Even better acting from Johnny Depp in this. And basically the way it all ends, uh, and we go forward and we see um, how, how Mort Rainey's wife cheated on him and uh, how he sort of psychologically breaks down from that cheating. And of course, in the end, it winds up being that... Uh, it's a case of a split personality where Mort doesn't realize the things that he's doing. Um, and John Shooter, uh, the door closes for the big confrontation. And Shooter winds up being broken down from the door to shoot her. Um, the the ex-wife comes to check on Mort Rainey, to check on his sanity because he sounds like he's losing it over the phone. And um, the wife comes. And of course, John Shooter actually is just visions and a split personality of Mort Rainey himself. So Shooter winds up meaning shoot her, uh, the, the cheating wife has driven Mort Rainey crazy into this split personality disorder and he wants to kill the ex-wife. So really cool twist, uh, maybe kind of an obvious one, but I, but I didn't at the time, I didn't know it was coming. Uh, it's obvious watching it back to see it now, but really cool twist there. You, know, you really kind of uh, have split feelings for, for the Mort Rainey character. You feel bad for him and what he's gone through and uh, he has some good funny moments in this too, there's a couple good laughs in here. But it's a good psychological thriller, good isolated atmosphere, good acting, and good direction. So I really enjoyed this one. Uh, and of course, the big uh, finale at the end, after the big twist, which is very well done, by the way. Now, the big ending, Mort Rainey is, uh, is back in town. The cop, uh, the cop that's kind of investigating this whole thing with the John Shooter situation can't prove that Mort Rainey killed his wife. Um, the written, uh, Mort Rainey is sitting at his desk writing the end of his book. And it's, uh, in time, her death will be a mystery, even to me, uh, writing the end of the book, which actually uh, shows and proves that he killed his wife, did, did shoot her, John Shooter, 
and uh, buried her in his garden. He's eating corn, which is planted right above the buried body of his wife. So uh, Rainy now lives happily in seclusion. His book is finished, and uh, nobody can prove that he has murdered his wife. So nice twist, ironic, kind of funny ending. Good, com- good, good moments of comedy, good suspense, good, good atmosphere. I think you all will enjoy it if you have not seen it. So if you haven't seen Secret Window, do you want to see it? If you have seen it, tell me in the comments down below what you guys think of this movie. What do you think of Johnny Depp in this movie? What do you think of the direction? And is Secret Window overrated and predictable, or is it worthy of being an underrated entry on my list? That's my number 18. So until next time, guys, uh, again, tell me down below what you think. Lock your doors, dim the lights, enjoy the movies, and I will see you guys for the next entry real soon.